one idea that was brought up to me was uh, on transportation. I guess so this will be a transportation update. One of it was bikes. Their reason for using a bike um, as their transportation was it's, it's quick, it's accessible, and it's quiet. I can I can buy that. I can understand that. But think about this scenario. You're in a what society would consider an apocalyptic atmosphere, where you can kind of consider every man for themselves. You know, unless you're in a group, you know, you look out for each other. But you're gonna have your stragglers, your single people. You know, your lone rangers, your you know your black sheep of the family, the outcasts, the ones that nobody wants cause too much problems, cause too much trouble, they have bad attitudes, they act rationally, so, irrationally, sorry. But, um, those kind of people are the people that would attack somebody in a bike. They see one person riding down a road, maybe a backpack with supplies, um, possible supplies of that, carrying maybe a rifle, Maybe they have ammo, um, whatever. They might actually take you out to get what you have. So therefore, I mean, you're, you're out in the open. It is a good idea, you know, if you're making, you know, you have your place where you're getting your supplies from and you just need to make a couple trips, something like that, that might be, you know, reasonable. But always keep that mind out that not everybody is going to be out there to help you. They're going to want what you have. And if they see that you have an advantage, you have weaponry, you have food, anything like that, they, if they can, they will stop you so they can take what you have. That's going to be the attitude. That's what people are going to do. People are going to rely upon that. I mean, it's sad, but I'd probably do the same thing. You know, I might take advantage of one person that, you know, doesn't know what they're doing. But then again, if the, you know, depending on how you approach them, they might, you know, actually want to help you but if you can see that they're clearly deranged or something like that yeah but bikes I would have to say only use bikes in say if you're in you know city area rural area maybe somewhere you don't have to travel too far maybe um, already check it out on foot, something similar to that. You know, if it's a path that you're gonna take all the time, maybe to get supplies, to check out on stuff, whatever it is, you know, check on other survivors. Mm, limit it, know your path, know your direction, know where you're gonna go. Because if you get lost, you don't have the time to stop and look around. It will cause attention to yourself. So know your path, know your direction. I would strongly recommend not riding a bike, but you know, have it maybe that it is quiet, it is effective, but you need to be smart. You need to think about it, plan your route, know where you're going, know what you're getting. Don't overweight yourself in case you do have to, you find yourself cornered, you have to get off your bike and you have to defend yourself. Make sure that you're not overweighted, those kind of things. I mean, the last thing you need is try to get off your bike, you get stuck, you fall over, boom, you got got. So think about what you're doing, don't overweight yourself, don't carry too much obviously know your path if things don't look right don't do it so bikes iffy uh, depending on your situation you roll your own dice